Hi, Damsonians. Uh, I'm Dr. Vivek Goel, and I'm here with a clinical vignette, uh, which I asked you a few days ago, and uh, I want to give you the answer as well as the explanation of the question I asked you. So the question I asked you was: A 40-year-old male presented with 10 days history of fever, joint pains, and headache. He was treated with antibiotics by a doctor, but he didn't respond. On examination, he was found to have high blood pressure. features of inflammatory arthritis and large joints gangrene in two fingers of the upper limb and a skin lesion which was shown in the photograph below investigations revealed high creatinine but there was no proteinuria or hematuria ana and anca were negative hepatitis b surface antigen was positive and the patient ultimately succumbed to abdominal perforation what is the likely diagnosis is it henoch schonlein purpura is it microscopic polyangiitis is it polyarthritis nodosa or is it fibromuscular dysplasia now the question that we have at hand is a clinical vignette with a long clinical history investigations examination findings and three out of four options are names of vasculitis so we can clearly understand that we are probably dealing with a rheumatological disease which is maybe a vasculitis the skin photograph that i had given out to you was as you can clearly see shows violaceous and reticular pattern over the skin of the legs and this is as you most of you correctly said this is livedo reticularis this was also pointed out by a dermatology teacher dr anupam if we analyze this case properly we have at hand a 40 year old male patient who presented to us with fever and musculoskeletal symptoms which was not treated with antibiotics now when you think of fever with inflammatory arthritis and that which is of 10 days duration probably you are not dealing with a viral etiology not treated with antibiotics of course it is not a bacterial as well so now probably you are dealing with a non infective cause of fever of which autoimmune diseases as you all know play a very important part in now the patient has high blood pressure high blood pressure with high creatinine but there is no no proteinuria or hematuria that is the patient has renal arthritis but no glomerulonephritis now this renal arthritis has led to renal ischemia which has secondarily led to activation of renin angiotensin system and thus led to high blood pressure the photograph as i clearly mentioned you had livedo reticularis also he had gangrene investigations show that ana and anca were negative now hepatitis b serology also turned out to be positive now as i have already told you before also in my classes that whenever you get a vasculitis question and if the hint is towards a hepatitis b positivity always think of one etiology yes most of you are correct also the patient succumbed to bowel perforation and infarction so we have a patient a male patient who has fever inflammatory arthritis skin lesions he has renal arthritis without any glomerulonephritis and ana and ca negative hepatitis b association and death due to bowel perforation most of you were absolutely correct yes the answer is polyarthritis nodosa polyarthritis nodosa is a medium vessel vasculitis as most of you know and the second example of medium vessel vasculitis is kawasaki disease which you all have been taught in your pediatric classes now other mcq points from polyarthritis nodosa which are absolutely have been straight forward been asked in previous year exams are it is a necrotizing non granulomatous and can negative medium vessel vasculitis it spares venues because it's a medium vessel vasculitis it involves the visceral artery and its branches it is associated with triple h with hepatitis b hepatitis c and hairy cell leukemia as high as 30 to 35% patients of polyarthritis nodosa are associated with hepatitis b so whenever in exam you get a hepatitis b associated vasculitis always think of polyarthritis nodosa now it's pes pulmonary artery and pulmonary parenchyma 
so clearly lung is not a favorite organ of polyarthritis nodosa this is in sharp contrast to other small vessel vasculitis like microscopic polyangitis like eosinophilic granulomatosis polyangitis or vaginous granulomatosis where lungs are a very important part of involvement now another clinching point of polyarthritis nodosa not though not so commonly found is its testicular involvement it causes orchitis and the patient typically has testicular tenderness this is also a very important clinical hint towards polyarthritis nodosa now if we do go for an angiogram of the renal vessels in this patient what we shall see is we shall see characteristic micro aneurysms can you see a marked by the small arrow these are characteristic small micro aneurysms appearing like nodes and we can see abrupt cut off of the small arteries last how do we treat this as i said association with hepatitis is a very common association so the mainstay if associated with hepatitis is antiviral therapy now if it is not associated with hepatitis what do we do we give immunosuppression in the form of steroid plus minus immunosuppressive therapy in the form of cyclophosphamide methotrexate or as a thioprin depending upon the number and the degree of organ involvement and of course to prevent the pathophysiology of renal ischemia we give the patient ace inhibitors and arb to treat hypertension of course with the caution of hyperkalemia and deteriorating renal function thank you very much